Hello YouTubers, it's Dusk Gregor. I just thought it might be another time for Chapter 3 of The Adventures of Prince Edmund. So sit back, relax, close your eyes, and listen. And I hope you enjoy the next chapter in this saga. Chapter 3, Capture of Princess Andrea. Where, where are we? What happened? stirred Edmund as he awoke from laying on the ground of Princess Andrea's shack where she had taken him the night before. You blacked out when the amulet was taking us to Xavier. Oh, now I remember. You, you're Princess Andrea, and you asked me to come to your country to save it from the witch. Am I right? Yes, but please get up now. There is much that I must discuss with you before the witch has time to find where I have hidden, and she must not know that you are with me, or she will kill you on the spot. Edmund got up from lying down, and the princess gave him a bite to eat. After he had eaten, she started to get out of out a guest. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. After they had eaten, she started to get out a chest. She opened it and dug through it for a while until she found a small uniform. She took it out and handed it to Edmund. Here, put this on. For if you wore those clothes, you would certainly be noticed, and you would direct too much attention to yourself. With that, she went outside so that Edmund could have some privacy to change into the uniform. The uniform was a dark silver with a light chain armor that would protect him in battle. There was also a helmet that came with it, but he did not put it on because he did not think he would need it right away. So then he folded his clothes and set the helmet on top. He then opened the door to call the princess to tell him that he was finished dressing. She came back in and gave him the amulet. Here, when you're in need or need help, just take the amulet and say, Amulet, from the Wizard of Zandabar, please. Then say whatever it is that you need, and it will give it to you. But you must really be needing whatever it is that you request, or it will not grant your need. Do you understand? Edmund shook his head, yes, and took the amulet and hung it around his neck and then stuffed it into the collar of his shirt so it would not swing from right to left around his neck as he walked. Princess Andrea then drew a map that looked something like a treasure map. She then gave it to Edmund and said, This map shows you how to get from here to the witch's lair, where her castle stands, but it will take you through many dangerous spots, such as the Forest of Doom, Mount Haunt, but then you will be out of Xavria and in the land of the dwarves, who will help you and show you how to get back to Xavria to the witch's lair. After Edmund understood how to get through to the witch's lair, he took the map and put it in a pouch. Then Edmund thanked the princess for the advice. I will do my best on this journey so that you may get your country back. Thank you. I believe that you will be triumphant in your quest, and I hope you do not come to be snared into any danger that lurks ahead of you. Just then, the sky turned black, and there was a bolt of lightning. Hide quickly, the witch is coming, cried Andrea, as loud as she could over the howl of the wind. Evan did not understand quite what she said, but he got, in, he got his helmet and his clothing and hidden in the chest, since it seemed to be a good place, hidden in a corner. So, I have finally found you! Ha 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 ha! You shall pay for running away, thinking that you could escape my wrath! It was the voice of the witch, Edmund thought to himself. What a dreadful, terrifying voice! Just the voice of the witch is enough to make a person give himself up right away. But this time, I'm not going to run away. I'm going to stay and fight like a man. Just then there was a scream, and then silence. After a while, Edmund decided to get out of the chest and have a look around. He opened the lid and to his surprise, there was nothing anywhere near where he was, not even the small shack that used to be around him. Everything had burned to the ground instantly. Even the field of poppy had been burned to a crisp. Realizing the strength of the witch and her power, he decided to be more careful about going on the rest of his journey. With that, he stretched his legs and began his long, adventuresome journey. The end to chapter three. Hopefully this isn't too bad of a disappointment. May I always remind you 
This is the story of a 13-year-old, 14-year-old mind from a long time ago. So I'll, anyway, thought I'd just go ahead and get this out there. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.